Hi friends, I'm Miss Haley with the Huntsville Madison County Public Library and today I am going to show you how to fold an origami frog that can hop. So to start out what you will need is a six inch by six inch piece of paper. If you don't have one you can cut it. You can have a parent help you cut it however you need but you need a six inch piece of paper and I have picked green so that it will be nice and frog like. And the kind of paper you want to use is some pretty thin um, scrapbook paper like this one here which I bought from Walmart. So you could buy this, you could get it um, through grocery pickup, super, super simple. So you're going to start out with your six inch square of paper and if your paper has color on both sides then you don't really need to worry about direction but if your paper is like mine and it has a pattern on one side and the other side it's white you'll want to make sure that you start with the paper face down and this is the only time you really are going to need to worry about the direction your paper is facing for this fold so to start out you're going to start with your paper um, color side down and you're going to fold it in half like this. You want to make sure that your fold line lines up nice and evenly and then you're going to press your fold pretty firmly. You don't want a loose fold on this. There's a lot of folds to this frog. So then once you've done that you're going to take this corner and you're going to fold it down to this side. So this corner to this side. So you're going to pick up both ends Fold it down so that the edge lines up right here, like that, and press your fold. Next, you're going to open that back up, and you're going to do the same thing for this other corner up here. So you're going to fold this corner down to this side, and now you should have a handy fold line too to aim for. So you're going to take that corner, fold it down so that it lines up with this edge, and press and then unfold. So what you should have is your piece of paper. I don't know if you can see this, but your piece of paper and there's an X of fold lines on that paper. Now the next part is a little bit tricky because what you're going to want to do is you're going to fold both sides in. So you're going to take this side and this side and kind of push it in so that they meet in the middle like that. See what I'm doing there and you're gonna press that in and then you're gonna press this top piece down so that it lies flat on top so you have this guy going on here like that and I will show you guys that one more time because I know that is a tricky tricky little fold there I'll try to angle it towards you so you're gonna take these two sides and push them down and then you're going to take the top and you're going to push it down so that you have that fold. So this next step is a little vague. You don't have to fold it to a specific place. So you're going to take this little corner here and you're going to fold them up. And it's kind of, it kind of looks like a samurai helmet to me when it's done. But you're going to fold it like that. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be any particular way. You're just going to fold that little flap up. So now you have this shape. And so to show you guys that again, I just took this little corner and folded it up. And then I took this little corner and I folded it up. So now we have that. And that is going to be part of our frog's legs. So next, what you want to do is you're going to take the bottom here and you're going to fold it up to this line that's formed by the triangle there. You're going to take that guy and you're going to fold it to right there. Okay? Now, you're going to take this side and you're going to fold it to the middle. So you might have to lift your little samurai helmet flap out of the way, 
but you're going to take this guy and you're going to fold him in like that. So that is again, you're going to take him and fold it to right there. And you're going to make that fold nice and firm. And then you are going to do the exact same thing on this other side. So you're going to take this side and fold it to this halfway point. Okay? So just like that. My hand was kind of in the way there. Let's see if I can show you better. So when you're done with those folds, you should be left with a piece that looks like this guy. Next, you're going to do the same fold we did a minute ago, but smaller. So you're going to fold this edge up to here. So you're going to take it like that. And this is where the folding starts to get a little harder because you've got so much paper in there that those folds are pretty thick. So it gets a little bit harder. So that's this guy right here. You're folding it up like that to that point. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to fold that corner down like that. So right there. And you're going to fold this corner down also. Then you're going to open it up and this is a little tricky. I'm, I'm hoping you guys will be able to see this on here but you're going to open it up a little bit so you're going to take this back, these back two flaps, you're going to open them up like that and then you're going to fold it down so that what you wind up with is this shape here. And that's a little tricky. It may take you a couple tries and that is okay. I'm going to fold it back to where it was so that I can kind of show you guys what I did up close. So again, we had folded these two down and then we unfolded them and we took the back two flaps here and we opened them up like that and then we push down so that you have kind of a boat, a little boat shape. And you can see my folds aren't perfect. I've got a little weirdness there, but that is okay. This is the sort of thing that's a bit more forgiving than some origami can be. So next what you want to do is you're going to fold this guy down like that. It's pretty simple. It wants to fold that way. We've already got some folds in there that help it go in that direction. I'm going to just take this corner and move it down like that. And you're going to do the same thing with the other side. So you should have this little gem shape with two little ears. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take this little side and you're going to fold it up to this fold line. So you're going to fold it sort of in half like that. That's right there. You're going to do the same thing with this corner. You're going to take it and you're going to fold it like that. And you guys might start to see a bit of a frog shape coming in. Those are going to be our little frog's hind legs there. Now our last step we're going to fold our frog up like this. So he's kind of folded in half for a second, but that's okay. And then we're going to take, once you've folded him in half, so again, that's from here to here, you're going to fold this part down to here. So you're going to leave him folded in half, but you're folding this part down again. So you're folding it over. So right like that. And that is a pretty hard fold. That fold is pretty, pretty thick. 
But what you are left with is this shape here. And he looks like this. And you have a frog. Good job. And to make him hop, you just set him down. See how easy he sets? And you kind of put your finger on there and you rock him back onto that fold. And you let go. And he jumps away. Thank you guys. I hope you join us again for another craft video soon. And I hope we see you at the library again soon. Thank you.